hello family and friends today we're going to be looking at some different beds in the yard and you know different things that we have going on because there's a storm on the way and uh i don't know how it's going to look afterwards but i just wanted you to see what it looks like before the storm um hopefully it'll just be a wind storm by the time it gets to us we have the tall pots here with the ruffle texture uh, potato vines hanging over with the electric orange uh, sun patience and blue labilia these potato vines they completely covered the uh, pots at one time but we cut them back so that you could see the pots I mean it's nice to have trailers but when you have a nice uh, planter you also want to see that too Got a few bug bites in here. We'll be pinching those leaves off so it can fill back in and, and flush out with some nice big sartreuse uh, leaves. Same thing in this pot here. We have uh, the potato vines with the electric orange uh, sun patients. But also we have these uh, verbenum growing off the side with uh, white petunias. Now the potato vine really grows fast and we uh, a lot of times want to just take some off the top here and the side so that it doesn't puff out as much. On the entrance, we have the, the uh, impatience with this giant uh, Gerber daisy. This thing's really doing really, really good. It's got the nice palm size uh, daisy like petals on the other side here well this one was just cut back so that will be blooming another another bloom will come up with this and up on the porch as you look over the side down here we have the Rex begonia The Rex begonia with the pinks uh, impatience. See, those are shade plants, and this is one of the few places in the yard that we can put uh, shade plants. We have some caladiums over here. That's a uh, puppy love. The red one is a uh, puppy love uh, caladium. The puppy love caladium looks a lot like uh, one of the. Um, Heart to heart uh, caladiums from Proven Winners, but this one is from uh, Monrovia with that deep red uh, color. It's like a reddish, a reddish pink color with the uh, green um, outline on the leaves. Then we have the uh, Christmas white, uh, white and green caladiums. Yeah, these are all shade plants and we have them planted uh, under this uh, bush canopy because it's one of the few places they can get shade in the yard most of the yard is sun and the rex begonia i had this in another one of the uh one of my uh, videos it wasn't as it's twice the size now and i still like the way these leaves just curl. This one is the uh, Rex Begonia Escargo. And the colors on it really go with this rock here. They have the, that deep plum color and then it fades out into a, a pastel green with dark green veins. And some of the smaller leaves have more of a green variegation with spots. Beautiful. Sun patients. Uh, variegated hosta down here. I almost forgot to mention the ferns. These are put in pots uh, next to the tall pots on both sides. I'm 
giant hosta in the front. The big daddy hosta. Another variegated hosta. I didn't keep the tags. Another pot in the front with white petunia and electric orange sun patient. As we do a slow sweep across the front, we have another big variegated hosta here. See, we raised the canopy on this bush here to create a space. And another big daddy on the corner. We have irises growing on the side over here. We're going to, in the fall, we're going to separate these and just spread them out along the the wall here to hide wires and as we come around to the back we have a quarter line here quarter line with the potato vine coleus and creeping jenny on both sides of the fence She'll be coming through and cutting off these these spiked flowers. Different color coleus is in coleus in here. We have this lime green color here. This deep bold red color. And the multicolor. With the plum and sartreuse variegated on the edges. It's a cloudy day today, but it's a good time, perfect time to do this video because it's just before the storm comes through. And like I said earlier, I have no idea what this stuff's going to look like. Down here we have uh, some mint plants, the uh, white vincas. Uh, this white vinca here has a pink spot in the middle, very eye-catching. And these here are, are three times the size they were when I when we put them in. We have dianthus, pink dianthus with the different colors um, coming in, the different whites and shades of pink. We have the solid white uh, vincas. These are really uh, these can really stand a lot of heat. Uh, they're drought tolerant. We have a mum in here. Just overlook the weeds. This is a surprise thing that I'm doing. I just had to get a look at how good things look. Because when this storm comes through, this may look entirely different. <laughs> yeah. We have some dahlias in here. Yellow dahlias. Pink. With that deep pink that fades out into a pastel. I have the orange, orange dahlias in here. Uh, pink sun patience. And salmon. And we have the hot pink uh, sun patience back here. And all of this here. Is together like a tight uh, flower bouquet and the mandevilla on this pot. With the potato vine uh, trailing over the side. And I didn't mention the these other pots outside the fence here. We have the creeping jenny in here. I may thin some of that out and use it in other pots. This long vine of ivy trailing out. And as we go into the backyard, I really 
love this, this view of all the color back here. We have these five different beds. Each one has a different character. The closest one up here has azaleas all the way around in different colors. When they start blooming, I will have a, a different video of those so you can really see the different colors. We're trying to get one of each color. Change the shape of the bed here for easy mowing. And this is the tall uh, urn pot. We have the pink uh, impatience in here. Seems like this is right out in the open, but these get shade from this bush behind here it, uh, in the morning. We have the uh, purple queen with the thick um, succulent type leaves. Potato vine again, of course. This bed is just, this, this pot has really surprised me. Um, and we have the white petunia. This petunia was planted on this side, but it's coming right on around. And in here we have an African violet. Marguerite. Absolutely beautiful. It doesn't have a lot of blooms on it right now, but this is, is really huge. And verbenums, uh, we're going to come through and do some deadheading. This is just a, a pop-up tour, just to show what's going on before the storm. We'll have one afterwards to see what survived. <laughs> Hopefully when this uh, storm ha hits landfall, it won't be as drastic as it is when it, start when it started off. And out here, we have more sun patients. Uh, I have some mums in the bed as well. Different size mums. These mums were on the front porch uh, in the fall. And they were doing so good, we just decided to bring them to the backyard. See, and as the spring, uh, when the spring came in and the leaves started filling in in the front yard, uh, they weren't getting as much sun, so we just uh, transplanted them around to the backyard, and uh, we're already getting blooms. It's July, uh, we're in the middle of July, and we're getting blooms here on the mums. A few blooms here and there. And all kind of little buds. All over the plant. We have portulaca trailing over the side of this pot. They open up when the sun is up. The black elephant ears. These will uh, tower over this pot and you'll be able to see them over the top. We have some alocasia here. Growing over top this uh, white vinca and variegated elephant ears. I was pulling weeds in this bed back here and I pulled up a few plant, few of the the elephant ears. So I was, uh, we just decided to just put them in this bed to see how they do. And they seem to be doing well. And I 
I'm just gonna go right on past this bed because it's really, <laughs> there's a lot of weeds in here. But we can look at these uh, geraniums. This is one of my biggest geraniums here. Uh, the clusters of flowers are huge. We just gotta do some weeding in here and a little maintenance. Dusty Millers. These are a frosty, a frosty uh, plant that you can use in your beds uh, to, you know, for different texture and we have the petunias, white, more white petunias here on this uh, bird bath, purple queen. The purple queen has a little tiny uh, pink flower on top. And the pot has this uh, chipped yellow paint that you won't see later on because everything's going to trail over it. And we have some rubecchias that haven't fully bloomed yet. The elephant ears. Different colored zinnias. We have the colocasias in here. Alocasias. And these aren't even full size yet. And this leaf is huge. Look at that. And the colocasias are the ones where the leaves point downward. And the downward pointing leaf and the alocasias are the ones with the leaves pointing upward. Different colored zinnias in here. We have the Magellan orange zinnia, yellow zinnias, more geraniums. We have a zinnia tucked back there in the elephant ears. Looks like it's in the shade, but it gets plenty of uh, evening sun from noonday into the evening. And on around the uh, tomato plant. There's some better boy tomatoes in there growing with uh, cherry tomatoes as well. It's loaded with tomatoes. It's just that the leaves are covering a lot of them. And we wanted to make sure. This cage really does a good job on keeping the squirrels and rabbits out. And this bed here with all uh, types of different textures and colors is really exciting, it's really fun. Uh, we have the garden flocks. This will grow three to four feet tall. The red coleus. The rubecchia. The balloon flower. And here's why they call them a balloon flower because their buds look like little balloons. And as they grow, that balloon will turn the color of the petal. And then they open up. They have like the veins, little blue veins in there. flower white vincas and in this pot here we have the caliper coas uh, pink with that plum center 
and this bed here is doing good. We uh, watered it, kept it moist for a little while when we first planted the uh, the flowers, and been watering it uh, twice a week, trying not to let it dry out too much. But everything in here are sun plants. They're all sun plants. And here's another garden phlox. It's kind of leaning over. But as it grows, it will, will perk up. We're expecting some wind to come through and It may be leaning more than that when it's over with. Another garden phlox here. So white garden phlox with a uh, pink center. Probably can't tell by the video, but they're, they're on. It's a vertical habit growing flower. This one will get three to four feet tall. Pink geranium. We have the ferns here along the uh, border of the property with a uh, lava rock along the mulch to keep to prevent the washout and at the mailbox the orange and white impatience they have really filled in and uh, created that dome shape there's a few clovers across the front but uh, we'll get to them and this is really looking nice And around the tree in the front, we have different types of hostas growing. And we continue to alternate the orange and white uh, sun patients. The hostas already putting off the lilac blooms here. The electric orange and white sun patients. Different hostas, uh, the variegated hostas, all the way around. And this uh, burnt looking cluster of flowers, that's a uh, candy tuff. They turn white in the spring. And back to the front with the uh, Rex Begonia and Impatience. Just doing a quick look at the different plants and flowers around the house. Before the storm. And I'll have an update to see what made it. Hopefully when it comes through, us, the uh, when it makes landfall, it will have slowed down some. And that's going to be it. Just wanted to get a look at these flowers and plants. To <laughs> remember them <laughs> but I think I think we're gonna be okay and in this bed here where the uh, driveway meets the sidewalk we have some red verbenum <clears throat> uh, purple
petunias. This bed was cut out to uh, prevent hitting the sprinkler in the middle there. And beside the walk on the way to the front door, we have these white petunias. Right now they're growing upward, but eventually they'll be trailing over the side of this pot, this hanging, hanging basket. And I'm going to end this tour with the big variegated hosta. That was a quick look at what's growing around here and how things are doing. Uh, we have plenty of plants and flowers. Uh, right now they're looking good, but who knows how it's going to be after the storm. Um, glad I was able to make this video. Uh, thank you for watching. Hit the subscribe button. And to uh, get all of our videos and the notification bell so that you know when they'll be posted. Enjoy your day.